Yo, this is Hitano Plays Pokemon Gold. This is the season finale of my Let's Play of Generation 2. This is the final part. Now we're going to go and up against the most powerful challenger we can ever have in a Pokemon battle. Be ready. Just one more time, we'll go through the Pokemon I have here. 57 Sand Slash, 56 ho 58 Golduck, 56 Victory Bell, level 70 Lugia, level 60 Machoke. No lead muscle. This is going to be my team for what's going to come now. Make sure your Pokemon is at least level 50 and have hold items and everything and make sure you have plenty of revives, max revives, full restores, hyper potions, full heals, you name it. You name it, you will need it. And with that in mind, it is time to go up against the most powerful Pokemon opponent you can ever imagine. But of course, let's have a random battle first, I mean, why not? Golbat is like troll Pokemon, level 51, pretty good level. I'm not gonna bother with it. Another Pokemon comes up, I guess they really want to block me from facing this beast to the counter. 48 levels here, so I guess this place should be the best place to level, but just be careful. You see who this guy is? Oh, come on, with the Pokemon battles, it's getting very annoying now. Golbat, get lost. Troll Pokemon. You see who this guy is? Doesn't it look like almost like us? Well, guess what? It is us. This is us from Generation 1. Yes, this guy is Red. He is the guy that we played in Generation 1 to become the Pokemon Champion by beating Blue, or should we say um, Steven, who was my rival then. And he has been the amazing trainer in all of Pokemon up till now. And he has been training in Mount Silver all the time since to become very, very strong. I'm just going to warn you. What you're about to face now is easily going to be the hardest Pokemon battle you can imagine in the least generation 2. So if everything is ready, everything is set, let us go. The final battle against Red. He is the ultimate Pokemon champion, the master of Pokemon, and your final battle in generation 2. Of course he won't say nothing, but he will fight. The music is played. Final battle is at hand. Pokemon Trainer Red wants to battle. He has six Pokemon, and watch this. His first Pokemon is Pikachu. Level 81! This is one reason you need to have Pokemon level for this. It's going to be so tough, and you must have a ground type Pokemon in this team, or Pikachu can wreck your whole team itself. Because Pikachu has some extremely powerful electric attacks, but he doesn't really have anything else than that. So Sand Slash will be a good opponent for his first one. He'll go with Dig. He used Charm on me to reduce my attack. We can't do anything anymore about that, so we just have to live with it. Let's Dig in the ground. He will quick attack, will miss. And here comes the Dig. Let's see how much we take out of that level 81 Pikachu. Over half. Pretty, go pretty good for being uh, 24 levels behind. Attack from Pikachu. Doesn't do too much damage because Sand Slash is very tanky. Quick attack again. Want butter. Is this gonna be it for Pikachu? It is. First Pokemon down. Five to go. Look at that. Next Pokemon he will be using is Venusaur. Grass type, poison type, we need ho ho for this. Let's get the bird out. Venusaur level 77. I think this is going to be one hell of a battle. The ho ho is the ultimate fire Pokemon in this game. Sacred fire. Here comes his charging up the solar beam. This shouldn't be too damaging on me as ho ho because. I have 4 times strength against grass attacks, but it can still damage. Look at the level difference though. It's 21 levels. Second fire. How much damage will I do? About half. One more second fire should do it. Here comes Solar Beam. Ultimate grass attack. How much damage will I take? 
not much as you can see. ho -Oh is fire and flying, both of them are strong against grass, so I'm basically taking 25% damage from a solar beam rather than 100%. So, oh, damn it, second fire miss. He will do another solar beam on us, no problem. He will second fire again. And that should be it of Venusaur. It is. Venusaur is down. Quite a battle against Venusaur. Next Pokemon is Blastoise. So for Blastoise you want to use a electric Pokemon. You can use a grass type too, but the thing is that um, Blastoise knows Blizzard, so be careful. But I will go with Victory Bell and hope for the best. Level 77 as well on Blastoise, so be ready here. Let us see if I can do some damage with Wastelift or if we will get down with Blizzard. Ah, here comes the blizzard. This might be the end of Victory Bell. At least it should be the end of Victory Bell. Yeah, one shot KO. Nothing I can do about it. Need to use Electric type against uh, him. But instead I'm going to go power with power. I'm going to go with Lugia. Lugia is 70, so it's only 7 levels below. And I can just go with Psychic here. Special defense fell down. He's gonna use Whirlpool on us, which is the same as Wrap. There's a water type move. Not too damaging on Lugia, of course, because Lugia has one of the highest special defenses in the game together with Ho-Oh, so I'm not really too worried about it. Of course, I have leftovers on Lugia as well, so most damage from Whirlpool will be recovered back up. Not a Whirlpool. We'll be coming up at Psychic first. And look at the damage now, because he reduced the special defense, oh again, here comes the rain dance, which means water dam damage will increase, fire damage will decrease, and electrical attacks will be having full accuracy. Solar beam as well will be taking two turns to be used. You see the leftovers is super handy on Alugia here, because he's very tanky. And Blastoise goes down. So, so far so good, we take out three of his Pokémon, we have still three more to go. It's nowhere over yet. Next Pokémon is going to use is Espeon. Espeon is a Psychic-type Pokémon. You want to use a powerful Dark Pokémon. Don't use a Fighting-type here. You want to use a Pokémon that is very strong in terms of physical power and as well in terms of raw defense. For this one, I'll actually stick to Lugia. The reason is because Lugia is a uh, Psychic type, so if he's going to do Psychic on me, he will barely do damage. And also I have Hydro Pump, I can use, I can use Fly. Fly has a stat bonus and Hydro Pump does not. Hydro Pump though has more damage, so it should be better. And of course the Rain Dance, it should also increase damage, but it shouldn't be too much. It's almost half. You do Reflect which is going to increase the defense. No problem from, for us. Hard to miss. Because it's Psychic, it shouldn't be too damaging. Because Lugia is Psychic type as well. Still hits for about 40 damage. I recover a bit of it because of leftovers. We'll do a hard pump again. This time it hits. Let us see, how go far this go? No! Espeon survives. Another Psychic. Espeon is only level 73 compared to his other Pokemon, so we're doing pretty well. We're going to Hydro Pump just to make sure, in case Red will be using uh, potions, but he doesn't. Espeon goes down. That means we have taken out four of his Pokemon, we have two more to fight. Sand Slash goes 58, which is always nice to have. Next up is Snorlax. This is one of the reasons I leveled Machoke up here, because we need a powerful fighting Pokémon. Snorlax is so bulky, he knows rest, and this can be the Pokémon you can struggle most with. That's why you want to have a powerful fighting Pokémon in Muscle. Cross Chop. 
This one's gonna hurt, but look how little the the actual health bar goes down. He is so tanky. Here comes Amnesia, which is going to make him even more bulkier to special attacks. But there's no special attack that can super effective him, it's just more that if you count for the use and the super effective moves against him, you might want to stick on using something else. Oh man, cross chopped his crit. No, it didn't. Uh, it looked like he crit, but it did so much damage. Body slam from Snorlax. It's gonna hurt. It's actually a one shot. Oh, it's a crit as well. How unfortunate is that? I'm gonna try to see if I can outspeed. Um, probably outspeed him with um, Lugia and do a psychic. Let's see if this is enough to take out Snorlax. He does have an issue, but he shouldn't be so tanky. He's not. Snorlax is down. We have one more Pokémon to face. The last Pokémon, of course, who is it? We have fought Venusaur, we fought Blastoise. Who's the last one? Of course, it's Charizard. So for Charizard, it will be using Golduck. Charizard level 77, he's the final Pokémon. He's a fire and, f and flying type. So you can use electric attacks, you can use uh, a water attack. Here we go. We will do it surf. Wing attack on Golduck. Not too bothered about it. He's still a very high level though, so he can damage us. Here comes Golduck. Let's see though if your surf can do enough damage here. It's 19 level disadvantage. But will it be enough? Over half. He's in the red. Oh, almost one shot him. Come on a wing attack. Will we survive the wing attack? We will. Is this it? Is this it? Is this gonna be the end? It is! It's over! It's done! It's done! It's done! It's over! Pokemon Trainer Red was defeated. We have beaten ourselves from the past. Red is down. And gone is, and we get the credits. And that's it. That is it. We have done it. Pokemon Gold has been completed. This was the final battle against red. We beat him, but you see how high level his Pokemon is? His lowest level Pokemon is level 73, his highest level is 81. So the only way you can really take on beating him, you need to go with super effective moves, or this is going to take a while. I could have been actually a bit more lucky here. If, um, for example, my, um, my, my choke didn't get crit by, um, by Snorlax, but that's fine. So, it was a very tough battle, but this is it. This is the final battle done with Red. Now, cool thing about this is that you can challenge Red again if you want to. In order to fight Red over again, we need to go and clear lead 4. Then you can go back to Mount Silver and you can fight Red again. So, every time you want to fight Red, go clear the Pokemon League, then come back. So, that's it. We have done Pokemon Gold over. We have captured 8 badges in Yoto. We've beaten the Pokemon League in lead 4. We've gone to Kanto, gotten all the badges there. And now we have gotten ourselves to Mount Silver, we've beaten Red, we've captured Ho, we've captured Lugia. We're done now in Pokemon Gold. Generation 2 is finally complete. 52 parts, the longest let play I've done so far. Possibly made only the longest I can probably do. Maybe I can do longer with Final Fantasy 7, 8, 9, 10 maybe, but we'll see about that. We'll tell when time comes. Anyways, this is it for me doing Let's Play Pokemon Gold. Generation 2 is done. What game will I play next? Well, as we did jump from Generation 1 to 2 in uh, from blue to gold, I'll jump from Generation 2 to 3. And I decided that my next Let's Play will be Pokemon Ruby. Yeah, Pokemon Ruby will be the next game because I own Silver on... I mean, I own Sapphire on my Game Boy Advance. So it's only natural that we play Pokemon Ruby as my next game. I was thinking about Emerald too, but I haven't really played through Emerald before, and 
it has a bit of a change, so I don't want to stick to the main story like it is and stick with Ruby. So Pokemon Ruby is going to be our next game. Uh, when the first episode will be coming up on my channel, I'm not sure, it probably will be about a week. Plus minus some days, we'll have to see, but at I think it will be taking at least a week, because I have to prepare some stuff for it, and I also have another Let's Play that I'm going on my channel, which you can see. So, that's basically it of Generation 2. Next time when I play Pokemon, it will be Pokemon Ruby. We will be traveling from the Yoto region to the Hoenn region. And then we'll be exploring some more cool Pokemon. We'll be exploring new badges, new gym leaders, new trainers, a new Elite Four, and a new storyline. It's gonna be epic for sure. So that is basically Sitano signing off from playing Pokemon Generation 2. But don't worry though, if you like Generation 2 so much, then you probably want to stand by for maybe a few months. Because I will do a Let's Play of Pokemon Heart Gold or Soul Silver in the future. But before that, I'm gonna go through all the five generations, and I also go through remakes of Generation One first, and then we'll get to Heart Gold or Soul Silver. So probably in around a few months, maybe in March, April, May next year, maybe I'll get to play Heart Gold Soul Silver. Not maybe in the summer next year, I will be getting there, and we will do Generation Two one more time, but this time as a remake for the DS. If you have any feedback on Let's Play, you want to discuss this game, and leave a comment below this video. If you want to be notified when I upload more parts and other stuff on my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. With that, I just want to say thank you for watching, especially all of you who have been watching since the start of Let's Play Pokemon Gold, and I'll see you all next time when Sitano plays Pokemon 